Hello, Janet. Hello, Brent. Have you got a minute? Not even a minute, Brent. Do I look as though I've got any time? It's important. Can't you stop working for a moment? What do you need? I just want to make a couple of inquiries at your terminal. Sorry, Brent, but there's no way you're going to do that. Not without proper authorization. I thought Chief Inspector Miller had just abolished the security regulations. No, he hasn't, Brent. Is that all? Good. See you later, then. Take your time, Brent. Hello, Janet. Hello, Brent. Have you heard? The Chief has handed Lowry's case over to me. The skeleton murders. Yes, and there was no way that I could have missed the conversation between the Chief and Lowry. Have we got a file about that? As far as I can see, you've already got the file, Brent. What? Yes, of course I've got the file. But you know that Larry and Stryker have been working on this case. The file contains a load of ridiculous nonsense, you know that. I need the terminal. Remember the official channels, Brent. Get the necessary forms and then we'll talk again. Damn bureaucracy. I need to make an inquiry, Janet, right now. If you start shouting at me, I shall see the Chief before you can count to three. Do you understand? And now leave here, please. Come back when you've got the necessary forms. Here, take this sheet and get it signed. I need a signature. Whose signature? Oh my god, Brent. Don't pretend to be more stupid than you are. Good. See you later, then. Take your time, Brent. switchboard. We have four lines, but Janet's all on her own at the moment. That's what happens during the holidays. I'll take that with me. You never know, I might need it. It's always handy having one of these tucked away. We ran out not so long ago, and there was a big commotion on this floor. At least that's one thing you can get hold of here without too much trouble. They are needed for the forms. Makes it easier for the chief to sign them. Paper clips. An instruction from the chief. It says, Mrs. Browning, there are no exceptions to be made regarding the new safety regulations. I hope I make myself clear. Attach this note to your pinboard and stick to it. Chief Inspector Miller. That doesn't work. It won't work. I can't see any connection there. I can't do that. Now I've got a clipboard with the form for information procurement, the carbon paper, and the form for stationary procurement. But the carbon paper juts out a bit. That will be noticed. What is it this time, Halligan? I know that you'll say no, but I have to ask for your help. You do actually need help, Halligan. But not from me. Try a social worker. Well? Could I just use your phone? Haven't you got your own telephone, Halligan? Yes, but there's something not quite right with it. No dialing tone. Is that it? That's right. The Chief can explain it to you for certain. Have fun. OK. I'll talk to you later, Lowry. Halligan? Yes? Might I ask you what you think you're doing?
I just wanted to borrow your scissors. Just for five minutes. Forget it. For heaven's sake, it's only a pair of scissors. Only a pair of scissors? Well, if it's only a pair of scissors, I'm sure you won't have much difficulty in getting a pair from somewhere else. Am I right? All right, then. Keep them. What is it this time, Halligan? I'd really like to know how a braggart like you managed to get a date with Janet. Well, you know what, Halligan? Women do like a winner, don't they? Little Janet is no exception. We went to the palace yesterday. What was showing? The new Schwarzenegger film. You know how to handle women, don't you? Of course. Janet said she found it disgusting, but I know for a fact that she was very keen on it. Women are like that. Do you understand? What amazes me is why a woman like her should find your boring stories about cars, sports and action films so entertaining. Halligan, I'm sure you didn't come to tell me that. What do you really want? Could I just use your phone? Haven't you got your own telephone, Halligan? Yes, but there's something not quite... No dialing tone. Is that it? How do you know that? Someone in accounts has had a look at the department's telephone bills, Halligan. And you're the record holder by a very, very wide margin. Your phone will only work internally from now on. Janet told me that when we went to the cinema. Where do you keep calling to, anyway? The Caribbean? I don't think that's got anything to do with you, Lowry. Oh, yes, OK, of course, sure. It's none of my business. But if you think that you can make your phone calls from here, you're dead wrong. Tell me, Lowry, what's your extension? 196. You know that. Yes, right. i just forgotten it. I don't phone you so very often. Yeah, and that's the way I like it, Alligan. Don't you dare start ringing me up and getting on my nerves. OK. I'll talk to you later, Lowry. Brent? Hello. Is that you? It's your mother. You know, I hate these modern talking machines. I haven't heard anything from you for months now, Brent. Is that any way to treat your mother? Aren't any celebrating her 75th birthday? You will come, won't you? Brent? Oh, God. That's all I need. Hello, sir. This is uh, Al's Pizza Palace. Your account from last quarter has not yet been paid. It amounts to £275. Please see to it within the next few days, otherwise we will have to stop serving you. £275? Wow, that's my personal record. Hello, Mr Halligan. This is Melanie Turner speaking. I was wondering why I hadn't heard from you, but Mr Blake just called and told me everything. I'm out and about quite a lot at the moment, and you may have difficulties trying to get me on the phone. But if you need me, just leave a message. See you later. Let me give you some good advice, Detective Halligan. Don't interfere with our affairs. It wouldn't be very... healthy. What? Who was that? Halligan? This is Miller. Damn it, where are you? Do I have to speak to this damned answering machine if I want to get hold of you? If by any chance you happen to turn up in this department, I want to see you in my office. Miller speaking. I've had enough. You better come to my office as soon as possible. Did you get that? The chief. I'm glad I've got that behind me. It doesn't work like that. You don't hear anything, and nothing happens either. Scotland Yard, Detective Lowry. Hello? Hello? 
doesn't work like that. You don't hear anything, and nothing happens either. Scotland Yard, Detective Lowry. Hello? Who's speaking? Miller speaking. I've had enough. You better come to my office as soon as possible. Did you get that? Oh, of course, sir. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Chief, I've got an 88M9 order form for stationery here. For stationery? You need new stationery again? Halligan, you'll lead this department to financial ruin some day. Do you know that? Yes, sir. No, I mean, no, sir. It's nothing extravagant. I could do with a new pencil sharpener, that's all. When will you learn to take better care of your things, Halligan? Scotland Yard can't print its own money. Every month, the accounts department gives me a hard time because of the deficit. Our budget for office costs is limited. I know, Chief, but I'm not able to work without a minimum of stationery. Here, I've prepared this for you. You just need to sign it. OK, then. OK, give it to me. But that's the last time, you understand? You'll have to buy the next sharpener from your own money. All right, Chief. Anything else, Detective? No, that was it. That's good. You know the way out, don't you, Detective? Of course, Chief. It's me again, Janet. Hello, Brent. How's your case going? Have you got any further yet? Janet, I need a database inquiry. Have you got time? Of course, Brent. Have you got the form for me? Yes, it's here. Good. Well, go ahead, then. I'm looking for information about a group called The Circle. The Circle? Just a sec. It won't take a moment. Yes, we've got something in the database about them. Let me see. An order of Neo-Druids. Their head office is in London. The head of the group is called Lord Sinclair. Could you please print that out for me? Of course. Would you mind telling me what these neo-druids have to do with your case? Is this one of your usual mad ideas? I don't think so. I'll have a closer look at these people anyway. Well then, happy hunting. Good. Thanks a lot, Janet. I have to go. Okay, Brent. See you later. That's the printout of the database information on the circle. Lord Sinclair's address is on it as well. 234 Winchester Street.
I should think about it again. Looks like that won't work. That's the printout of the database information on the circle. Lord Sinclair's address is on it as well. 234 Winchester Street. The letterbox of the museum. What could I put in there? I should think about it again. That'll do it. That should be enough for Ms. Turner to find me in case something happens. 